Samantha Rowe is here. She's a film journalist. Um, and I need you to talk to me about Star Wars. Why is it so exciting? Why should the Londoners care about it this time around? Well, basically, this is the fifth biggest grossing franchise of all time. So where better to have this global phenomenon than in the best city in the world? <laughs> nicely, <laughs> nicely said. Um, but, so we all think that London is the centre of the universe. I mean, it actually is now, really, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, especially with the station as well, sort of going forward. <laughs> and why is it such a big deal for you? Are you a Star Wars fan sort of growing up? Yeah, I love Star Wars. Obviously, I'm an 80s kid, but it's still all the Lego, everything. I was still yeah. able to play and watch yeah. everything. I remember so. getting... I did also get a huge Star Wars uh, kit to make. Oh, the bands have struck up. I don't know if you can hear that. But that's to announce that people have started to walk into the venue. We're going to be as loud as we can, so hopefully you can still hear us. Now, there's been a lot of fan chat online, I mean, for ages. Um, is this the cast that you expected? Were there any surprises for you? I mean, yes and no. We knew that, obviously, the main three were coming back and that Adam Driver, potentially, from Girls Fame, was coming on. But we could potentially have a, uh, a Jedi from Peckham with John Boyega, which is awesome. A Jedi from Peckham? Yeah, we could do. We could do. I know some Jedi too. <laughs> but the one surprise, the main one, was Daisy Ridley, who nobody really knows. I mean, she's done Mr. Selfridge and she's got the In-Between Us 2 coming up, but that's really exciting for her and for us to see this new talent in this brand new franchise you know and Andy Serkis he's got a studio in Ealing actually the Imaginarium in Ealing and he's also in the Tolkien movies um, he's also in the Apes yeah. movies yeah. is he a good omen for this franchise absolutely he is the franchise king no one does it better than him and I love the idea that maybe he could bring just a little army of motion captured Ewoks along rather than the suited ones from the original so be really really exciting Brilliant. well you've just excited me thank you very much <laughs>